Hey guys, so part two of my arthritis video. For this I am using a young horse which is about two and a half years old to help give you a better visual of, as opposed to say an elder horse as well. So anyways, we're going to just jump down to her legs here since she's falling asleep. So when you're examining a horse that's probably older than 15, you want to do this full examination because you don't want to miss out on anything that could possibly be going on. So from here we're just looking at her knee joint and you can tell she's got nice, you know, bone peaks, ignore the purple from the blackberries, <laughs> um, and everything else. The most common place for them to get arthritis would be here in their knees, their front knees, um, and down in here as well, and all these tendons in here. So when you're doing an examination on an older horse, you want to, you know, make sure you can feel the bone peaks. Like here you can tell, I can feel it. This would be a valley in here. It's you know, fairly normal. This is also another valley. As you can tell, you can push. It's a little bit, you know, springy, which is more than normal. And you want to make sure, you know, she has her other peaks, everything else. And same thing down here. You want to make sure you can feel all the bone points and the valleys and everything else. A horse that will have arthritis or is getting arthritis, you won't be able to feel the peaks. It will have swelling. Sometimes there can be heat. Not always. So touch is always a good thing too. And comparing to the other leg. So holding one hand on one and comparing. So obviously she's not going to have arthritis. She's two. But you want to make sure you can feel every little bone peak here. Every little valley and whatnot because it can be very tricky game and it could be the slightest difference like right here I could feel it but tomorrow I might not be able to feel it as well which could be a sign of arthritis and I would recommend calling your vet right away to do a full diagnosis so same thing down here you can see all her like you know the little valleys are right here and everything you can see where each valley is for the most part and I'll jump over to her other knee for you guys. Again, ignore the blackberry juice all over her. So, same thing. Nice peaks. Nice valleys. Obviously, I'm pushing kind of hard on her on her foot as well. And if she had some horses with arthritis, if you push really hard, it will hurt. And they will shoot their leg up, or they'll try and bite, or they'll do something. She obviously is fine, so I'm not too worried about it. And she's also used to me doing this to her. So, but as you can tell, you know, you can see the bone peaks, you can feel the valleys, you want to make sure you do a very thorough examination. When you're looking at a horse, at auction it will be a little bit harder to do. So, when you're at auction, as I mentioned before, you get to hold this now, um, <laughs> as I mentioned before, you can't usually go in and examine the horses and everything else when you're trying to find one. So if the announcer says the horse is, say, over 15, you want to be looking for certain key things for arthritic horses because anything over 15, you'll have the... So I heard a little lower lip caught on the lead and it was just kind of funny. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, no, don't go for the apples. <laughs> of course. If it's not one thing, it's another. It's, I'll, I'll pick you more. <laughs> so... <laughs> now she's going to be alive and try and bite me. Simon's going to get them. Don't worry about it. Um, so when they come in through, like, the, the showroom to see, or if you're out in the pen, watch how they move. So, of course, usually most horses will have very poetic kind of like, movement, so to speak. So... I'm just going to walk her kind of in a straight line and we're going to pan down to her legs to show you her smooth movement which is probably not going to be existing because she wants the apples. <laughs> so, come on. Come on. So as you can tell, she has a very smooth you know, walk, she has no problems. Another thing with arthritic horses is they will have troubles putting extra pressure on that one particular leg if that leg's more flared up. So, when usually if they're in the auction room, or if you're leading them yourself, this applies to both scenarios, um, turning them in tight corners to see how they react is also kind of a good thing too, because if they're really arthritic, it will be really hard for them to move. They'll be almost peg-legged over it, 
So with her, <laughs> I know, I'm pulling you everywhere. With her, you can tell she has no problems besides the fact that I'm pulling her, and she's not 100% cooperative. But you can tell she can, she moves no problem that way. A horse with arthritic legs will be a lot more stiff, they'll be trying to take wider turns, they won't want to. And same thing, they'll go the other way. So you can see the smooth movement of her crossing over. You can see all that. You can see she's putting full weight on her legs. Some horses. later. Um, so she has full pressure on both her front legs, which is also a good thing. Some horses, depending on how severe their arthritis, will sometimes keep the front leg up. You can tell they're not putting pressure on it if that one particular is a lot worse. So from there you can have a bit more, because at least if you're leading, you can kind of see how they're turning. And seeing like a younger horse turning and pivoting, it gives you a, a lot better reference for an older horse. Now, as I said, standard breads and thoroughbreds, I find peg leg -like horses. <laughs> they seem to walk like they're always stiff, regardless. So, also in auction, usually for about five, depending on how long the bidding will go for, if you're watching them out in the yard, if they're moving around a lot, they probably don't have arthritis. Um, if they're kind of just standing, they don't really want to move as much, or encouraging them to move is a little bit hard, that could be a sign as well. Arthritis can be so tricky between the two because there's that obvious one where they're injured, they're lame, they don't want to move, and then there's the sneaky one where you have no signs until it's almost too late. So doing that leg exam is very key to a lot of that kind of thing. It's very pertinent to before you buy a horse. Like when I got Simon, I did the full examination on him, including squeezing his knees, I checked his feet, everything, which there will be another video explaining more on what to look for in buying a horse here. I had one, but it got deleted. So, for arthritic horses, that's generally what you want to look for. You want to make sure there's no swelling. If you were comparing knees and this one looked more swelled, it could be arthritis, it could be an injury, it could be a lot of things at this time. But when it's a horse over 15, since there is that shift, the metabolical shift in the horse, it can cause, you know, anything from that point. It's hard to say. If you know what the horse's career has been up until about 15, it can also give you a good example of what they'll have for arthritis. Like if they're an off-track racing horse or if they've been riding on barrels for many, many years, there's a good chance of a high-performance horse. They will come down with arthritis, especially jumpers, I find, are the key horses for arthritis. So that gives you a very good example with a half-asleep young horse. So. <laughs> I hope this helps. If any further questions, please comment or feel free to inbox me and I can try and make another video for you.